Hello guys and welcome for another video with Fen. In today's video I'm going to talk about the Alliance League, so what it is, what are the best missions to do and how to make a lot of points easily. So Islands League is pretty easy to understand. So you've got two types of mission, the personal mission and the Alliance mission. So the Alliance mission are actually selected by the leader of your Alliance or the officers and then the personal mission you can select two different types of mission, your personal that you can reset when you want or after five minutes if you if you just refresh one or you can select uh, one in the public missions and the public missions are for all your alliance member and your alliance leader and officers can decide to reset those missions. You have at the be beginning four attempts um, and then you can add one free mission attempt every day. So you've got a total of 11 missions for free. And then after you can add and buy with gems uh, extra challenges if you want to. The first one every day is 50 gems and then it increases after. But the second one every day is uh, 100 and then so on. So personally, I usually buy the first one with uh, 50 gems each day. So I've got more attempts and I can make more points and I can get a better rank in the rewards so once you achieve your your mission you get the points from it so you can see here you've got uh, 50 points if i get this one and then you've got a uh, different type of rewards you've got the tier rewards the member ranking rewards and the ranking rewards so the tier rewards is pretty easy to understand so each time your alliance finish an alliance mission it get points for the alliance but also it includes all the points made by all the members so once this condition is satisfied you have another condition which is your your own individual points and once once you reach these individual points you can claim the reward of the phase that's been unlocked uh, after that you are in competition with the members of your alliance and the first member of the alliance get the most points and you see it's pretty good rewards here and then you are also in competition with 10 other alliance and some Alliance will be demoted. The last three will be demoted for the lower tier Alliance League. And the first three, I think, might be uh, promoted to the next level. So here we are, the, the, all the different levels in Alliance uh, League. So you've got a newcomer first, then adventurer, then a pathbreaker. And the last one is top fighter, the highest level. And the rewards actually varies depending on, on the level of your alliance league. You will have better rewards on top fighter, for example, but also the mission will be more difficult. The requirements to achieve the missions will be higher and some mission will be deleted. Like, for example, you won't be able to kill zombies or you won't be able to kill hives as well. After that, uh, let's see some uh, of the different type of missions you can do. So you've got a vast variety of missions. You have got construction mission, research mission, training mission, uh, healing or killing troops, buying packs, uh, using stamina, killing zombie or killing hives, spending uh, speed ups, uh, giving resources. Um, you can also upgrade your hero like experience. Um, to your hero, uh, resource gathering as well. Uh, you got commander's equipment. You got a gem as well. But on all these missions, uh, I'm gonna tell you which one are actually the easiest. So first of all, the easiest is will be most likely the radar station mission and the stamina mission. So stamina is really easy. So you see, it's quite a lot of amount for this one, uh, and it's actually even more if you have a purple mission. But the stamina mission is really easy. You just need to create a auto rally and then cancel it and then repeat the same a few times, and then you will see you will achieve that mission. It's really easy. Uh, if I go on, so this one is the radar station. Uh, even this one is really easy you just accomplish 24 rather station even and you get the points too you have also upgrade a certain amount of building so when when you have that mission available the only thing you need to do is just buying a few trees in your in your shelter i'll show you where you can find it so you go here and then decorative and you buy some of these tree and, and you will unlock the mission then after that you've got killing zombies and hives that are pretty easy to do 
uh, just requires a bit of time. Gathering resources is pretty easy as well, um, especially for the lower tier Alliance League. But from Pathbreaker, it's getting harder and harder, and I don't think they're really worth doing. Like for example, he's only 170 points for 4.2 million oil, which is a lot. So you spend a lot of time trying to do this mission and i don't think it's really valuable for me for example then you got research and construction research and construction it depends on the situation in your shelter so you can see uh i've got a research that is nearly finished and if i go check it uh the, um, so this research will grant me 315,000 points so of course, I already plan to have in my personal mission a mission that increased my technology might by 280 points. So I don't even need to spend speed ups. I'm just going to get it. So you just need to prepare what mission you need depending on your what's going on in your shelter. And it's the same with construction. Look, I'm, I'm not doing any construction right now, so it's not worth it for me. But if you have plenty of uh, buildings to do, it's pretty easy to gain some point with the construction mission. Uh, after that, you've got a training mission. And actually, a training mission is very difficult to do if you're not prepared, but it can be very easy. So you've got two types of training mission. You've got one to increase the might. Um, not sure I can see it here. No, there's, there isn't any. Um, and then there's another one which is training troops. And if you want to do the, the increased might, the best is to train your highest tier troop. If you do the second one, so increase the number of troops, it is much easier to upgrade your troops. So what you do to for the training mission is really easy. So you can see here in my shelter, I'm training tier four troops and I can actually train T5. So I've got a certain amount of T4 available and I just need to use a training extension like 10,000, for example. And if I do that for three or four of my barracks, it's going to be very easy to get 30,000 troops trained. So I can get 500 points pretty easily. You can do the same with the might mission. You just need to use training extension again on your T5, well, in my case, in T5. But then you will need to plan in advance. So usually during top commander, I would just typically on on Friday, on during the phase five, I would just start my training extension there. And then after a week, I can get 48,000 T5 done in a week without spending any speed ups. Speed ups are a mission. I would only do it if you do some of the race mission. Sometimes you can get, like sometimes you have got the um, research might race or the construction might race or whatever. But I would not do this mission if you don't have these kind of events because you're spending a lot of speed ups for not much rewards really so there's no point to do it the gems actually are easy if you buy packs but yeah this is up to you but if you do the gem mission the best is to combine it with bloody brandy so you just start that mission and then use your gems in bloody brandy and you do you gain parts in bloody brandy and then finish this mission too for all the gems like purchase packs and as well as the yellow mission i would try to get those on your personal because it give either 150%, 200% or for the purple it's 120% bonus points. So now the mission I would not do for example is uh, the healing mission. I think this is really a lot of troops to heal for this mission. Uh, same for killing troops. Unless you've got a big war in your in your region, I would definitely not do this because they're just, just too difficult. Same with this one, the gain of total uh, hero experience. I would not do it. I would just keep my experience book for top commanders. Uh, same with the carbon. Carbon and uh, yeah, commander equipment might, they are really hard to do. You have to spend a lot of um, carbon steel and uh, fabrics to achieve those missions. And that definitely not worth doing during the Alliance League. It's better to do it during uh, your top commander. And that's it for the video, actually. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope I was clear enough. And then now you've got a better understanding on all the Alliance League works and uh, what mission to do to get more points. So yeah, that's it for the video. And I wish you a really good one. Bye.